I'm sorry this is such a crappy uh, quality video, but um, I, uh, the camera's dead. I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I'm headed down to uh, Harbor Freight right now after talking with several of the guys on Green Hulk. Um, mainly excellent. He really recommends doing a, a proper, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, index test on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, I've printed out a degree wheel. So it's uh, it'll go on the end of the the crank snout right there and it's actually the perfect size and I'm going to reassemble the top end I've got all the gaskets and everything like that so I can put it back together I'll just slip the wrist pins back into uh, each one of the uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it um, the uh, rod, rod tips there so that way I can put it all back together and then I can do a proper index test of the dial indicator so I'm headed down right now to um, get a uh, dial indicator from Harbor Freight so be watching for a video probably later today or tonight with a with an index how to and we'll see if this engine's good to go because if it's good to go I'm going to go ahead and split the cases uh, and replace all the seals and uh, I've never done that before I've taken them apart but I've never put them back together so that's the, kind of the scary part for me so since I've got nothing but time I mean hell it's November and uh, won't be back on the lake until you know late April early May or even later than that so I'm gonna do it right. We're gonna we're gonna pull it apart and do a complete rebuild and catalog it via, via video. So, anyway, like I said, wait till uh, later on this evening or eh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, I'll get you a video up there, show you how to do a crank index.